Welcome. In this video we'll be looking at logs in the Further Math course. Effectively logarithms are used to compress a large range of data that has an exponential range. So if we look at example 2 here, I have um, a range of towns and cities with their population ranging from up the top at Melbourne at nearly 4 million people all the way down to a small town called Yannick of 84 which is where I grew up. Um, this data is from 2011 and so the numbers will have changed by now. We want to look at how we can calculate the logs of these large variations of numbers and create a smaller logarithmic range. With our TI Inspire I've entered in the cities and the population and I want to convert these large numbers of population into a logarithmic value. So let's give it a nice easy heading such as log pop and we want to use control log you see a log function comes up here now logs can have many base numbers we're using a base 10 number it's easier to look down the bottom of the calculator screen than up the top it doesn't quite fit so we want the log to the base 10 of the population if I could spell it would be better and you can see as soon as I type in the word population it's recognized as a column header and we press enter and our data comes in. Now the format of this doesn't look too appealing and you might not even understand what the log of these numbers is. So let's go back to our home. Let's have a look at our document settings. And you notice here under calculation mode it's in auto and that's common for those doing methods or specialist. We want approximate and return to our current document. You'll see now our log numbers have been returned as a decimal 6.56 for Melbourne 5.15 for Geelong and so forth all the way down rather all the way down to 1.9 uh, for Yannick let's now return to our Word document and see if we can make some sense of this well Melbourne it has a value in the millions nearly tens of millions and so if we think about this in terms of scientific notation millions is 10 to the 6 10 millions is 10 to the 7 so a log is telling me that Melbourne is between a million and 10 million. Whereas Ballarat, for example, it's in the tens of thousands going towards the hundreds of thousands. So it's between a 10 to the power of 4, as in tens of thousands, and 10 to the power of 5, which is a hundred thousands. So you'd expect a value somewhere in the fours, 4.9. Churchill is between the thousands and the ten thousands. So it's between 10 to the power of 3 and 10 to the power of 4. So its log value is 3.68 all the way down to Yannick which is between tens and hundreds so it's between 10 to the 1 and 10 to the 2 and it comes out to a value of 1.92 so that's how you use your calculator, calculate a log value let's consider another example this is one I find really interesting suggesting if you leave raw chicken out at room temperature bacteria will grow in fact it will double every half hour so let's have a look at this one, let's assume we start off with one bacteria at a time of zero and I've written a quick little equation here that allowed me after every block of 30 minutes to calculate the number of bacteria so at the start we've got one bacteria after 30 minutes we have two bacteria after an hour we've got four bacteria and it keeps doubling every half hour so let's again call it log of back for bacteria again we'll use the logarithmic so control, hit our log function, it is a base 10 and it, we're going to take the log of the term bacteria and as soon as I type in the name it becomes bold because it recognizes that as a heading for one of the columns. Oh, and there's our bacteria log. Very good. Now let's have a look at how we can compare this. First of all, let's have a look at a linear graph of the mins by 30, the time, and the bacteria. You can see here that there is a massive variation. This is effectively 6e plus 6 means 6 by 10, or the exponential, to 6. This is 6 million. This is 12 million, or 1.2 by 10 to the 7. This is 18 million, 1.8 by 10 to the 7. It's a huge variation. The scale goes from 0 up to nearly 18 million. 
not easy to compare variations even though they're doubling every time so a better way of drawing this graph is to once again take the mins by 30 and then plot the log of back and lo and behold you can see the mins of 30 as we go up every block of 30 minutes you can see it's doubling and the logarithmic scale of bacteria gives us many um, nice easy simple values to read okay so one would represent our tens two would represent our hundreds three would represent our thousands four would be our ten thousands five would be our hundred thousands six is our millions seven would be our um, ten millions this way we can express a huge range of variation in a compressed logarithmic scale